Hi, my name is Kiana, and I'm here to talk about what I learned over my winter break about the Chesapeake Bay. Um, yeah, don't mind this like awkward glare thing in my glasses, um, because like it's very obvious. So yeah. Anyway, um, the Chesapeake Bay is a bay located in Maryland, which is right here bringing out my handy dandy history book it is right here it's a small 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 little state that is there and that's where lo it's located and sure the Chesapeake Bay sounds like really cute and like pretty it's like oh yeah Chesapeake but no it's a dead zone and it's a dead zone because of people and Nitro nitrates and phosphates and ammonia and fertilizer and which is all kind of the same thing but still and and dead algae and yeah um the Chesapeake Bay is polluted because of people and I'll tell you why the Chesapeake Bay is mostly around people because that area is like in an urban area and people don't really realize that their little things are major attributes to the pollution of the bay. So like even some simple things like driving your car, it releases gas and oil, which when it rains, stupid rain, right? But no, seriously, when it rains, like the gas and the oil that's on the floor gets pushed into runoff, which soon goes into aquatic habitats. So like rivers and like bays and streams and oceans and all that stuff like that water goes into there which causes pollution and in that um and also which is caused by runoff or like the rain or whatever there's fertilizer and people like to grow their plants that have nice you know green mown lawns and stuff like that and they put fertilizer in it and they don't realize that when the fertilizer has nitrates and phosphates which go into the water when it rains and run off into the sewage system which all that water goes into the bay and that is creating like that is like death of the ocean and people don't think about it and they like it slips their mind also in urban areas where like where are people supposed to put their nitrogen and phosphates so it's like there's nowhere that they can uh, these, there's n nothing there that can absorb these nitrates and phosphates which it's like the only place you know so it's like well we have to put it in the ocean because we're also going to put it like the garbage can no it's really not that it's not the same um yeah so that's that about people and kind of this ties in also but phytoplankton I think that's how you say it but yeah which is another name for algae, is an organism that produces oxygen during the daytime and at the same time it consu consumes the same oxygen during the nighttime. Eventually they die off because of the lack of oxygen in the zone, like you know, like the water area. And the algae has a major role in different marine life food webs because they provide food or like you know, other organisms to feed off the algae and when the algae dies out because there's not enough oxygen for them so do the organisms that feed off them the organisms that feed off those other or their uh, other organisms also die so everybody's just dead you know which causes a dead zone a dead zone so everything just dies you know and the Chesapeake Bay is pretty polluted considering it's the most polluted one in America and nitrogen is one of the main things that is polluting the bay and listen to this the ammonia gets released into the air which comes from the fertilizer you know when people like farmers like plant their stuff or whatever and when it comes back down when it comes back down from the air it becomes the nitrogen it becomes it comes back down as nitrogen and the ammonia from livestock operations cause six percent of the pollution in the bay i don't know about you but I think that 6% is a lot coming from one thing. So people are now, well, like farmers and stuff like that, what they're doing to prevent, you know, this happening, they're just stop farming because seriously, it's better to f not kill so many things than to farm for your own pleasure. Unless you're like, you know, Tyson Farms or whatever, but because like people like meat and stuff, but like, 
still like the, you're killing your fish fish are dying because of fertilizer which is no bueno not good so um like this one farmer lady she she's been ra like raising chickens for two decades 20 years and she quit because she was tired of polluting the bay because of not necessarily just because of her but because of farmers like herself and people who constantly use fertilizers and don't think about the things that they're doing causes stuff like this like causes different dead zones and it's like really not that not good at all you know it's it's really not that good it's pretty pretty bad actually and one more thing as soon as I find it um yeah like I said people are no longer you know um they're not farming as much, using as many fertilizers, but there are still people out there that don't know that they're doing this. People out there that are watching this know that you are polluting different kinds of water and and your little things like driving your car and having oil spills and, and your la your gas leaking from your car is all that is going to the ocean, which is killing your fish. And you think, oh yeah, I love fish. Who cares if they die because I eat them anyway? No, you don't want that fish because that fish takes up, like, it takes up nitrogen and phosphates and if you eat that fish you will have phosphates in you and that's not good because you will eventually die from it and well yeah it's not good so the fish will die from it what makes you think you won't die from it so please stop stop polluting and you know be more cautious of the things you do like you know and yeah so everyone just you know <laughs> ride a bike <laughs> ride a bike um I don't know, I want to say ride a train, but no, don't even ride a train because that gas, just ride your bike, ride a skateboard, they have rollerblades, you know, and stop using fertilizer, like, if you really were such a great farmer, your farm would be great with the sunlight and your little, bus, like, your little pot of water, like, stop using fertilizer, especially if, if you, if there's a drought, like, cool, no, that's not really good, but, like, think about what if you live in an area where it rains every single day like in florida it rains a lot over there so if people are using fertilizers all the time like think about all the beautiful beaches down there that this runoff from the rain has nitrates it has phosphates it has ammonia it has gas oil all this stuff that can damage the water is going into that so what are you doing why why are you causing this for your earth the place you live stop ride your bike Stop using fertilizer. Freaking, if you want to, if you want to raise a chicken, raise a chicken. They do it in the Dominican Republic all the time in their backyard. Stop using a farm. <laughs> Ride your bike, please. And, yeah, because of people driving. No, I'm kidding, because, you know, like, if I want to go, I'm not going to ride my bike. But, yeah, ride a bike. And, like, just be more cautious of the things you do because of our, because of, and I'm not saying this to everybody but even myself like because of all of us these bays and rivers and oceans and stuff like that are not what they once used to be so we need to you know work on that thanks